fourth contestant, Lee Chen Chun. Lee Chen Chun. Thank you. Joyce Tan, you stood out from the average speaker. And here are my analysis. Number one, the first word uttered from your speech is a question. You involved us early. And you waited for all of us to raise our hands. I was observing. But what you did next exemplify why you stood out from the average speaker. You acknowledges the response. I felt personal and I felt I could connect to you. Thank you for that. Secondly, most average speaker has a rigid speech. But you personalize your speech based on the event. And I noted three instances. Number one, Leonard, where are you? <laughs> you pick Leonard as a, a subject in your speech. Very original. Number two, you link to an event that's happening after this. If you want to be as charismatic as him, go for the plenary session. The second. Third, you said, if you want to observe how he eat, observe him during the lunch time. And what this does, it lengthens the impact of your speech. Well done. Third, in your speech, you have dialogues. You have character to character dialogue, character to audience dialogue. But I noticed you did another form of dialogue, inner dialogue, when you said, actually, he's not bad looking. I wonder if he liked me. You, you told us what you are thinking. You brought us into your mind. And that made me want to know what will happen next. Well done on that. With this, let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you. Now here are my suggestions. Number one, your question. How many of you here have spouse who is in Toastmasters? Consider this. Raise your hands if you are a Toastmasters. Raise your hand if you are a Toastmasters who is attached. Only Leonard. <laughs> right? Cast a bigger net. Involve everyone early. Because if you go too specific with your question, not everybody will raise up their hands. And you sort of single them out. Cast a bigger net. Something to consider. Number two, the popular public speaking coach Patricia Fripp once said, if you are too dynamic all the time, then you are no longer dynamic. So, Mix around a little, have a little bit of contrast. The height of listening is after humour. After humour, tone down a little and drive the message across. That would give your speech more whole. Overall, I really enjoy your speech. When you ask that question, I knew I'm going to be taken for entertainment ride and I wasn't wrong. And I'm sure, based on the response from the crowd, we all agree with that as well. But look into how to add a message in your speech. Tone down a little and drive the message across. I don't need to be Chong Yun Fat to say that that was an amazing speech. Back to you. We will now have a one minute silence.